My name is Maria Chavez. Dreams. Once in a while I do like home invasion, like having somebody come in your house and I just remember I was scared. I dreamed that me and my mom and my brother, we were at some construction stuff and my brother was working across the way. He's paralyzed, he's quadriplegic. And um, he was doing drugs behind my mom's back and I was like telling him stuff. I've dreamed before that I was going down, it was like San Teresa Boulevard, there's this kind of bump in it, and I dreamed I was in a convertible, and then we went over the bump, and I just really dreamed I went way up and way down. Well, I mean, I used to have like big, ridiculous dreams. I've never been to Montana, but like someplace that's green, and I think like Scotland or Ireland would be beautiful. I would love to live in a castle, and I would love to have Frisian horses, and I would love to take one part and make it big for all the as much abused animals as I could put like dogs and cats whatever and just let them run just throw food out there and let them be okay you know I used to live on the street for a little like over 10 years and I would like to do stuff to um, help the people out there like go and serve lunches sometimes or um, you know coffee hot chocolate when it's cold I was in that spot before and um, just do, do some things that could really help them. If I had a bunch of money too, I could make a documentary. And I think it would be cool to make one. I got housed like two years ago with help, you know? Yeah. Um, and so I have an apartment now right down the street across from the park. And, but it was not easy. And people like my friends that I knew out there, I see them all the time and they ask me, you know, well, how did you do it? Like, what did you do? I feel like they want to think I have a secret knock and I'm hiding something. I'm not, it's just really hard and it's different, you know? When people ask me that, I try to say what I did, what, how I did it, you know? But I thought it would be kind of cool to make a documentary is like to go and just find somebody that's homeless that seems very serious about getting, you know, housing, of how to go about it in Santa Cruz and just go, okay, well, let's see, what do you do first? Let's go to the shelter, and, you know, like ABC, go in the direction that they tell you to go. If they tell you do this, you know, do everything they say and see, does it really pan out? And if you, if you really follow their um, directions and stuff, you know what I mean? To see the steps and if, like how it, how it turns out. I started um, in last December um, of 2022, working at the Homeless Garden Project, um, showing you how to, do skills like you know farming in the winter months we make wreaths like christmas wreaths and we also do lotions and um candles and that kind of thing we recently switched to to like the, the farm part which is at way on the west side of um santa cruz we do all kinds of planting of um different vegetables all kinds of different things and um, we learn how to do that. And I'm new at it because, you know, the winter was kind of long this year. They give you a social worker. That's just your social worker. And they go through your personal things. It's molded to the person. It's not like just a straight across thing. So you get to say the things that you want to personally work on. Um, it's really nice to be able to see people make progress and for the program to really work. I like Santa Cruz, I do. I, I mean, I love Santa Cruz for just for um, logistics. I mean, we've got the ocean, we've got the mountains. We are so spoiled with all this stuff here. And me, I'm guilty also, and we still complain. It's too hot, it's too cold, blah, blah, blah. You know, I, I don't know if everybody else is, but I'm guilty of that sometimes, but we have it made in that department. But I think sometimes, the money goes the wrong way. It just depends who's in charge of it. I think there's people that are really doing stuff really doing the right things to help the people and to help the, the to help this problem go in the right direction you know and i also i've come across people that seem like they make these rules that don't make any sense i used to be hooked you know um associated with a lady at encompass and she she helped me through so, so many different things the two people that helped me the most they didn't have to help me because my caseworker I don't know if she got quit or she got fired. She was gone one day, and then they never gave me another one. And both those ladies I knew, and they both offered to um, help me, and they both had full caseloads. And I wasn't on their, I wasn't in the sections that they were responsible for. One of them was out of Watsonville, and she offered. And that's, that's who helped me the most, you know?